Number of Missouri unemployment claims grew in June after the governor ended federal unemployment benefits. He said that would push people back into the job market, but some business owners and economists say it's proving to be not that simple. Sarah Maki explains. This is dinner service at Tempest in the Grove. Each table dining al fresco. We are all eager to open our dining room, but we are unable to open it now due to staffing shortage. Owner Ben Groupie says they get calls every day asking if the dining room is open, but they'd still need a handful more employees to make that possible. We had an interview scheduled for five o'clock today, and we're all super excited about it and no ship. So that's that's been kind of the ongoing trend. The governor said extra federal unemployment money incentivized people to stay home, but the numbers don't back up that hypothesis. There isn't much support for the governor's contention. Economist Radha Gopalan says June unemployment numbers don't show the full scope of ending federal benefits since that went into effect on June 12th, but still monthly numbers were up. So there's likely other factors at play, like health concerns and child care, and rising cases will only continue to damage the economy. I'm originally from India. The Delta variant started out in India, and I have seen the ravages that it uh, wrecked in India. And in the U.S., unfortunately, this is a self-created crisis. Kopalan says the fastest way to turn things around now will be vaccines. As somebody who's concerned about the local economy and the state's economy, I think the only way in which the labor market will come back to any sense of normality is if our vaccination rates really pick up and, and pick up quickly. And that, he says, could get people back to work. Good news for business owners like Groupie. In St. Louis. Come out and support local restaurants. That's... Saramaki. Come out. We're all here. Five on your side.